right guys, so today we're going to be installing a 1 inch 40 series torque converter driver pulley on this racing lawn mower that I'm building uh, for two reasons, because just putting a small pulley on the rear end, uh, it's not fast enough, which basically when it comes together, it'll also be a bigger pulley and it'll turn into a semi-automatic transmission, which is gonna be awesome. All right, let's get this thing out of the box. All right, so this thing's a lot bigger and a lot heavier than I expected, uh, probably because I only seen the 30 series, but yeah, this definitely looks really heavy duty. Uh, it's not an actual Comet, it's an off-brand. Just if anybody's wondering, here it is compared to an old 30 series that I have just laying around. Pretty much the same concept. And here it is compared to a whole 30 series. Now I did want to try to find a centrifugal clutch with a one inch shaft and with the big pulley on the output. But I couldn't really find one and the ones I did found were like super expensive. So it was just worth it just to get a 40 series like that and put it on there. And that's what cars and cameras did and it worked out good. So I'm going to do it too. All right, so I got it all jacked up, literally. Um, uh, yeah, this, this steering is going to be very sketchy. I know y'all can't see on camera, but that is a lot of play in there. All right, so with this pulley right here, I can't really flip this upside down because this big pulley is gonna come in contact uh, when I push the clutch in. So that's not really gonna work out. So that's another reason why I'm putting the torque converter pulley on the front. All right, didn't take as long as I thought. Got the crankshaft pulley out. This thing literally did nothing, so I had to get the air impact on it. Why is this thing not coming off? It's supposed to just slide right off and it's not coming off. What's more fun, y'all, having to get up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down to get little tools like this. Finally, this thing was like rust welded on there. Had to go through a whole thing of putting a ratchet strap around here, pulling it down, tapping it with the hammer, but it's finally off. All right, so the belt size on here, this is for a half inch belt, and this is for like, a way thicker belt maybe like three quarter or something like that um yeah so it's only going to probably come up about right there the one on the 30 series is like a 5 8 this pulley if you're wondering is the exact same size as this pulley on the transaxle so it is a one-to-one -one ratio but we're going to increase that all right so the shaft's all clean now so Let's put this converter on and see how well it's gonna do. Right, I'm obviously gonna have to remove this belt guide, so I'm gonna do that. All right, guys, check this out. I finally got it on there. Um, I don't have any spacers up there at the top, so that kind of just goes up there a little bit, but It'll be fine for a test. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get a shorter belt. Uh, belt's always an issue, always too long and too short, never always right. But yeah, the clutch just almost clears. And the belt is slightly a little bit out of alignment. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna fix all the front. So uh, it's just a mock-up to see if it even works. Um, yeah, that might work, I don't know. So it's dark outside, yay! We're gonna ride it anyway. I hit 20 miles an hour and before it was like 17 so that's pretty good and I think if I do a little micro adjustments on the front end where it won't go up and down as much and get a shorter belt I think it ought to be pretty good all right so I'm back now after about 30 minutes of just six six gear just going along uh, you know, it actually does work very well, better than I thought. 
fifth and sixth seem like exactly the same. Like first, second, and third are like just, you know, what are just like start off speeds, like the really low range. Fourth, fifth, and sixth are like the higher, high range, higher gears or whatever. So yeah, there's a dramatic difference between third and fourth. Now I did do pretty good. I actually drove it all around the entire neighborhood, which is probably about, probably over a mile I've driven this thing. And you know, it, it didn't, it didn't shut down on me. It kept going, so that's good. And tomorrow I'm gonna film more footage outside here. I'm not gonna film a little bit of night footage and say, oh, it's a video. But this thing is pretty cool. Like I was riding it through the neighborhood and there's some dude on the four that just kind of looked at me because he was night riding too. <laughs> so it is pretty cool. Like. It's like it's fun, and then you remember you're on a freaking lawnmower. All right, so I just stopped by my grandparents' place because they had an old Craftsman lawnmower that I, I remember way back then I used to cut grass on. And there it is back there. I don't know if you can see it. But um, I can't look at y'all because I'm trying to drive, and I shouldn't really be doing this, but I am. Uh, I'm going to use that as like a donor lawnmower to rob parts off of it to put on this lawnmower. But if it all turns out good, I might turn it into like an off-road lawnmower. I don't know. Uh, we'll speed bump uh yeah so i'm gonna get back to the house and i'll put y'all back on all right so just made it back here it is uh it is in very very bad shape than i last remembered uh this wheel isn't even on i don't even know where grenade got that wheel from uh but this is a horizontally opposed 21 horse twin cylinder engine which i might take that engine off or take the engine off on that and put that engine on it so we can have a v-twin on the racing lawnmower but i don't know but uh yeah the pulley and belt and all that is on the rear end so if i can get this started i might can drive it around uh by sitting on here just so, somehow halfway bolting the seat back up uh, i'm obviously gonna remove the deck um yeah electrics on this thing very very sketchy as i said before i remember used to, i used to cut grass on this thing we used to always get it like halfway running and we was gonna cut the grass with it and i don't know what happened to that ever since but yeah here it is we're trying to make something of it this lawnmower, I think, is the upgraded version of mine because, you know, it has a little bit better quality stuff on it. It has a bigger motor, a little bit more, I guess, options. Another video, we'll get it running and driving. And this lawnmower also has bigger tires. The other one is 18 by 9.5. This is 20 by 10, so we might get even more top speed. So, yeah. I just wanted to show you this real quick, and now let's get back to the action. All right, so it's daytime. Let's take the mower down the road and see what it'll do. So here's the size difference. All right, so I got on there. These tires are actually different, uh, but they're both 20 inches and it wouldn't hurt to take it for a spin. I didn't notice any improvements in top speed. It felt like it was slower, and I think the belt might have been slipping more. So I'm just gonna put these wheels back on because, you know, I already spent money on these wheels, and might as well I'm gonna use them and just put those wheels back on there. Next video up this will probably be slamming it and lowering it, and yeah. So give me a note in the comments on what other things you think I should do to it, and y'all should see me in the next one.